Dear students, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is image compression. In this video, lossy data compression is discussed and improved grayscale quantization that is IGS method is explained with the example. Now first we will start with what is mean by lossy data compression. A lossy data compression method is one where compressing the data and then decompressing it retrieves the data that may be, that may be different from the original but it is close enough or approximate to the original image. Most lossy data compression formats somewhat suffer from generation loss that is repeatedly compressing and decompressing the file will cause to the progressively lose quality. This is in contrast with the lossless data compression where it does not have the problem of generation loss because every time we are getting the original data as it is. Lossy compression is ideal for audio images and videos due to the human perception of this media popular in internet streaming and telephony for significant size reduction compared to lossless methods. There are two main approaches for the lossy compression. First approach is transform coding and second is predictive coding. In transform coding, we split the data that is image into small blocks. Then transform this segment to the different domains. So generally to get the more information, we are transforming the special domain to the frequency domain then quantize the transform data here actually the lossy step and the data is uh, permanently lost that is reduces the precision and after that we apply the entropy coding for the efficient representation so for entropy coding we may use the arithmetic encoding or Huffman encoding the second approach is predictive coding in predictive coding it predicts the current data based on previous or future sample so similar method we apply to reduce the interpixel redundancy also it calculates the difference between the prediction and the actual data, quantize and codes the error signal. In some of the methods, these two approaches are combined that is nothing but transform coding and predictive coding. So some system uses both methods, transform coding compresses the prediction error for further efficiency. Now we'll discuss with the first method that is improved grayscale quantization. The method takes the advantage of visual perception because our eye don't perceive all image detail equally. Some information is more noticeable than others. And at the same time, we have to take the advantage of visual perception, but at the same time, we have to reduce the false contouring. So basic reduction in data saves the space, but introduces visual artifacts like false contouring. So this is a challenge of compression. That is, we have to take advantage of this as well as at the same time we require to reduce the false contouring improved grayscale coding coding scheme this technique addresses the both concern it reduces the quantization while minimizing the false contouring it achieves this by incorporating the information from neighboring pixel when quantizing effectively smoothing out the process these are the four steps when, which involved in igs coding i just add the lower four bits of the previously processed pixel to the current pixel value this leverages local image similarities the new modified 4 msb of the current pixel become the igs code representing the quantized value for this pixel the process will continue that is we are adding the lower bits from the previous pixel and extracting the igs for the current pixel if the original pixel msb is all ones then i just add zero to prevent the potential overflows issues now all these four steps will be easily understood with the help of example now this is example one construct the igs code of the given gray label data set so these pixels are given and here the input data is 8 bit that is we require to represent in 8 bit and we require to use the igs code in which the resultant sample is of 4 bit now these are the pixel values we first represent that values into the binary rep representation for simplicity i make the part i made the partition so that it is easy for to understand so this is nothing but the binary representation of this input pixel after that we require to add the previous uh, num previous pixels for lsb so here as previous pixel is absent that's why we are ticking 0000000 now this is highlighted so what we require to do we require to take this and this that is four lsb are added into this number after adding the zero there is no change so it becomes this number and whatever the first four bit, bits or msb become our igs code so four msbs are one one zero zero they are nothing but our igs code next time the number is one one zero zero and one zero zero one so here in this number we are adding the previous four lsbs of the previous number 
so this in this 201 number we are adding 1001 and after that we are getting this now we extract the 4 msb and that is nothing but our code so the process is repeated now see the third example here the msb are 1111 so it may happen that as it is 41 so there are chances of overflow so when we add the previous number the chances of overflow may be there so we are not adding the previous lsb but we are keeping as it is and when the four uh, when this situation is not there then only we are adding the previous four lsb so in this way igs code is get created now here we required that image into the four bit that is four bits are presented now but now we are using the different precision value so here the value for eight bit is from two raise to zero to two raise to seven and instead of eight bits now we are using only four bit and we want to maintain high quality that's why we are taking two raise to seven two raise to six two raise to five and two raise to four so 128 64 32 16 so this 110 is represented in this format so when we add 128 plus 64 we are getting 192 when we are adding 128 plus 64 plus 16 we are getting 208 and when we are adding all that values we are getting 240 so in this way we are reducing the precision so initially they are from 250 to 255 now they will be represented by the 240 original data is 8 bits during the igs coding selected only for msb value of the modified 8 bits hence converting them to the decimal we should consider their binary to decimal position weights which are 2 raised to 7 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 5 and 2 raised to 4 where if we want to maintain the good quality of the resultant image if we want to compromise on the quality so we can take this range 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 3 so 64 32 16 8 in this way also we can represent the number but the whatever these values that is from 240 to 255 we generally map to the 240 so they are reduced to the 120 so de quite degradation is there and if we go for the next range that is 2, 5, 2 raise to 5, 2 raise to 4, 2 raise to 3, 2 raise to 2 the visual artifacts or false contouring occurs in an image because number of colors reduces in the resultant image now generally here the input range and IGS value so when input range is 240 to 255 it is mapped to 240 224 to 239 it is mapped to the 224 but here the point to be noted is that there is no direct mapping of the input that is uh, we can't do that that take the values of 240 that is if pixel values are between 240 to 255 we are converting to the 240 this direct procedure is not there because we are taking the effect from the neighboring pixel because here we are adding whatever the previous four lsbs to the current pixel so current pixel may change in the msb position that's why we want to by this procedure we can reduce the false contouring so there is no direct mapping of the input but combine impact of the current and previous previous pixel on the current pixel and based on that it will map to the igs value now this is a similar second example that again it is given that you represent the data in 8 bit and convert image to the 8 bit so these are the pixel we represented in 8 bits now for the first pixel there will be no previous number so 0 0 taken and after that we are adding this number and this number to this we are adding this 4 to this 4 lsb and that is to the entire number and we will get this and only when when all ones are there in the 4 msb then we are not adding the previous 4 lsb but we are keeping the number as it is so in this way that is similar to the example one the same procedure is followed and we will get the igs code and when we want to maintain the high quality at that time we will start with the 2 raise to 7 2 raise to 6 but when we want to reduce the quality we can start with the low range also so in this way we are solving the problem now next example construct the igs code of the given gray level data set now the values are given and from the values we can see that the values span a very range uh, which may not require the 8 bits to represent so here the it is specifically mentioned that input data is 6 bit and convert the image to the 3 bits and maintain high quality of the reconstructed image so whatever the input pixels are represented they are represented using only 6 bit so this partition of 3 and 3 is made then previous pixel is 0 so this 3 0 and 3 0 partition is made now we are adding the previous this 3 lsb to this number to get this number 
then this 3 lsb to this number to get the new number so in this way we are doing the things like our previous problem only here data is partition into the 6 bits now here if lsb is, if msb is 3 times 1 that is chances of overflow is there so at that time we are not adding the previous lsb but we are keeping the number as it is so in this way we can proceed for the igs score now here the when we say the image is 6 bits then it is 2 raised to 0 to 2 raised to 5 if we want to maintain the high quality we can start from 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 4 and 2 raised to 3 so in this way the igs code generated so 32 plus 16 and plus 8 when all ones are there so 56 value is there next example now this image is given which is 4 bits and convert the image using igs compression using the 2 bits so here we require to represent each number by only 4 bits so this combination is there so all that pixels are represented using the partition of the 2 and 2 bits will made and here the represented now the problem is solving is similar to the previous method only the observations are important and that observations are highlighted in color now see this 2 is mapped to the 0 this 2 is mapped to the 1 so this is not fixed that when input is 2 we are mapping to the 0 but this is based on your previous pixel so when previous lsb gets added that numbers msb may change so here msb is not changed it keeps 0 but here the msb change and it becomes 0 1 so therefore it is 1 so for 3 also we can check that uh, here 3 is back to the 0 because if we see the previous pixel they have a very low impact so that's why the impact is not more that's why it mapped to again 0 now if c3 is mapped to the 1 because the impact of the previous pixel and here again 3 is mapped to the 1 because of the previous impact of the pixel so that's why the there is no direct mapping of the input that we can take the pixel value and map to that value this is not the case but we require to take the uh, effect of the previous pixel on the current pixel to reduce the false contouring but combined impact of current and previous pixel on current pixel is considered in the IGS coding. Advantage, it achieves a significant file size reduction by reducing the number of bits used to represent each pixel's gray level. And disadvantage, it introduces loss of image detail and potential visual artifacts due to discarding the information during the quantization. So as we are using lossy and as we are reducing the precision of the number, so we are getting uh, visual artifacts that is the quality degradation in an image but at the same time by taking the information from the previous pixel we are trying to reduce the false contouring also that is we are trying to retain the quality so these are the advantage and disadvantage of uh, IGS so this is all about the IGS that is improved grayscale, grayscale quantization lossy compression technique so in the next video I am going to explain the vector quantization thank you